Hi, my name is Connie and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to give you an idea of what Yamagata has to offer. So if you're interested in the lesser known parts of Japan or just Japan in general, keep watching. But first, let me introduce myself. I'm originally from New York and I grew up in Yokohama, Japan, and now I live in Yamagata. And let me tell you, this place is absolutely gorgeous. I've lived here for about six years now, and I've fallen completely in love with this place. The reason why I decided to start this channel is because a friend of our family was visiting from Malaysia, and he thanked us because if it weren't for us living here, He'd never even have known of this place. And he told me that I needed to show the world how beautiful the, the Yamagata is. So thank you for that advice, Johnny. Okay, so I want to talk about Yamagata, but how many of you actually know where Yamagata is located? Um, I'm assuming it's going to be a very small number. That's okay, because I'm here to show you. Here we have a map of Japan. The red circle indicates the Tohoku region, meaning the northeastern part of Japan. So let me break that down for you a bit. The Tohoku region consists of six prefectures. From the north is Aomori, Akita, Iwate, Miyagi, Fukushima, and last but not least is Yamagata. As you can see, the shape of Yamagata looks like the side of a person's face. So. I guess it was only natural for them to come up with a mascot character that looks like a huge green face. <laughs> so this fellow's name is Kitekero-kun and Kitekero means come on by or come visit in the Yamagata dialect. You can see that he's holding something in his hand and it's actually a straw hat called the Hanagasa. Every year from August 5th through August 7th, is the Hanagasa festival where hundreds, maybe even thousands of people dance the Hanagasa dance and this straw hat is a prop. Um, I had to make this for a school project so these are sunflowers but normally the decorations would be uh, red flowers representing the prefectural flower, the safflower. So let me show you a little bit more of Yamagata's specialties. Yamagata is famous for its fruit production and is referred to as the fruit kingdom. We make Japanese cherries, grapes, pears, watermelons, apples, you name it. We also have dashi, which is finely chopped summer vegetables and aromatic vegetables, vegetables dressed in soy sauce. I love pairing it with tofu and it's my absolute summer favorite. And this is called imoni, and you'll see a lot of Yamagata natives having an imoni cookout by the river in the fall. Yamagata is famous for having really hot summers. It's June 11th today, and it's like 30 degrees Celsius out. Um, I don't even want to think about how hot it's going to be in August. But anyway, um, once it cools down in the fall, everybody gathers by the riverside, and they have these Imoni cookouts with friends and family. It's nice. It's like, oh, it's Imoni season, you know? Yamagata produces the fourth most rice in Japan, and I think you can say this for the whole of Japan, but any prefecture that makes rice makes excellent sake or sake, whichever you prefer. Before I continue, please don't forget to like this video, and if there's anything more that you'd like to know about Yamagata, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, so I keep talking about food because I love to eat, but there's a lot more to see in Yamagata as well. In the spring, wherever you go, you're going to see a gorgeous view of cherry blossoms. Um, this particular picture was taken at the Kaminoyama Castle. In the summertime, we have nice mountain sides to visit, including this place called Yamadera. It literally means mountain temple, and it's a temple located in the mountains. Um, it's one of my personal favorites. I probably visit the place maybe once every week or two weeks. It's like a meditation, kind of um, healing the soul. 
It's hard to explain.、Um, you have to have been there to know what I'm talking about. But if you have been there, you know what I'm talking about. Here you see beautiful autumn leaves surrounding an outdoor hot spring.、Um, Oh, that reminds me, I almost forgot to tell you、um, Yamagata has so many hot spring towns.、Um, just to name a few, we have Ginzan,、um, Akayu,、uh, Hijiori. There's a whole lot more, and I probably don't even know of some places, but hopefully, I'll get to visit them in the future. In the winter, Yamagata turns into a winter wonderland, and you can enjoy all the skiing and all the snowboarding to your heart's desire. If that's not for you, that's okay because you can always take the cable car to go see nature's very own ice sculpture located in Seoul. I haven't had the pleasure of visiting this place yet, but hopefully, I can go this year. I hope this video has given you an idea of what Yamagata has to offer, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!